Hey everybody, how's it going? Kazadoon here, and I'm bringing you a quick video. Uh, I've got two choices for the Fallout 4 character that we're going to be playing as. First one is Carl, and the second one is the complete opposite of Carl. Um, if you've ever seen my uh, Skyrim series, you pretty much know who Carl is anyway uh, already. Um, I'm just bringing him over into the Fallout universe. And they've both got backstories, and they're both very different characters. I'm going to start with Carl um, and let you know about what he's going to be all about, and then I'll switch over to the other person. So the first uh, so backstory for Carl is he was an accountant for the Nuka-Cola company, um, and that's about as <laughs> exciting as his life ever got. Back then, of course, before the war, because that's where this game starts, uh, that was an enviable job. Uh, most people you know, would say Carl is doing pretty well in life. Um, he's got a good, you know, uh, paying job. He's got a good wife and all of that. And he's doing pretty well for himself. He's a smart guy. He's doing well. And then the apocalypse happened. And uh, this left Carl woefully unprepared to face this new world uh, of guns and germs and radars. Uh, so he's his big thing is uh, he's good at speech because you got to be able to uh, know the right kinds of people and get them to like you in order to get a good job like that. He's good at math, but there's no math skill in this game, so I gave him really good science skill. And he's also uh, just because he's just got dumb luck. He's very lucky in this game. He's not the most likable person, uh, I guess after the end of the, well I guess he is, yeah, he's got quite good charisma actually, so he is, um, that's kind of weird, he was an upstanding person before, and uh, now he's not, but he's still kind of a do-gooder, he wants to make things better again, um, but needless to say, he's not good at guns, he's never shot guns before in his life, um, so he was a good fit for the old world, but he is completely out of his league, uh, out of his element in this new world. Uh, so that's Carl. He's going to be the kind of person who has no idea how to handle this. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how that goes. The second one over on the left there um, is, yeah, I don't know, I don't haven't made a name up for her yet, but she's basically the complete opposite of Carl. Uh, she grew up in Montana. Her dad was a sheriff. He taught her a bunch about guns and she grew up. Uh, she had a BB gun which she loved and she liked hunting little creatures with that gun and having a lot of fun with that. And man, I don't know who you are. She grew up as like a gun nut. She ended up actually becoming one of the crazy people who actually ended up preparing for the apocalypse just in case someone decided to nuke everything up. Um, and so she, on the other hand, <clears throat> uh, opposed to Carl, is extremely well suited to this world. She's very proficient with guns. She's proficient with repairing her guns. She knows everything about guns. She likes all kinds of guns. She's not so good with energy weapons because that's they didn't have energy weapons as far as I know back in uh, before the war, before uh, Fallout, <laughs> and I guess. Uh, but she's not very charismatic. She kind of doesn't. She's not very moralistic. She kind of does what she has to to survive. And, and she's very good at surviving as well. She's been living off the land for a very long time. Um, so that's her. So you've got two complete opposite choices I can do for Fallout 4. We've got the dumb luck person who shouldn't be alive, but he somehow manages to scrape by. Um, probably because of the friends he can make and his... his skill with uh, uh, science and other things. Or we've got the survivalist who wanders the wasteland and just sort of shoots anyone who gets in her way and eats them <laughs> or whatever. Takes takes what she needs. Um, I leave the choice up to you. Let me know who you would like to see uh, in Fallout 4 and I'll start a series as that character. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.